Hello and welcome to this Caspio training video series. My name is Ed Garcia and in this series I'll be showing you how to create and deploy a web form using the Caspio online database platform. In part one of this tutorial we will focus on how to create a table and define each of the fields on the form. Here you see the home page of Caspio Bridge and the list of all my apps I have created for various projects. So let me show you a quick preview of what we're going to build today. Here's a contact us form where end users can submit their basic contact information. There are only three main steps to create a web form just like this. First, create a database table, which I'll be showing you step by step in this video. Then build your web interface or your web form, which we call Caspio data pages. And lastly, deploy or publish your data page to your own website. To get started, I'll go ahead and click on new app. In this case, I'd like to create a blank app and name my app Contacts. Once I open into my new app, I see all the different Caspio objects that I can create to build my app. Right, so let's create a table by clicking on the Tables tab here on the sidebar. So a table is similar to a spreadsheet. It stores all of your data. In Caspio, tables are the foundation of all your apps and serves as a centralized and secure database to capture, manage, and update your data in the cloud. So to create a new one, I'll go ahead and click on New Table. And this will bring me into the Table Design View, where I can create all the different fields that will be in my table. Again, just like a spreadsheet, a field is just like a column. All you have to do here is list all the fields you need for your form. So let's start with first name, last name, title, company, phone, and email address. I like to also allow users to specify their contact preference. So I'll go ahead and add a field here for contact preference. And lastly, I'd like users to submit their comments. So I'll go ahead and add comments here as well. You may have noticed that I'm using underscores in my fields instead of spaces, which is a requirement for field names in Caspio tables. However, in the next video series, you'll see that these underscores will automatically get converted into spaces in my form's field labels. Also, you have a description area here to note down any information about a particular field to reference later. This is for internal use only and won't be visible to any end users. So these are all the fields that will display in my web form. Now, I'd like to add more fields for my own use. I'd like to automatically capture the submission date of each incoming record. So I'll go ahead and add another field here called date underscore submitted. And as best practice in database design, I should also have a unique identifier for each submission. So I'll go ahead and add record underscore ID. And make sure to set this as unique. After listing all my fields, I can then set the data type for each of the fields here on the right. This dropdown provides me options to choose the most appropriate data type so that the incoming data is captured, validated, and then stored in the correct format. So for the first name, I'll go ahead and make this text 255, which means that the field can contain up to 255 characters. Same with last name, title, also company, phone, email, and contact preference. Now for comments, I'd like this to be text 64,000 so users can submit a larger amount of data up to 64,000 characters. For date submitted, I'd like that to be dates last time. And lastly, for record ID, I'd like this to be an auto number which will automatically generate a unique number for each record incrementing by one. So the first submission will be one, the second will be two, and so on. Once you have all your fields, set all the data types, all you have to do is click Save and name your table. In this case, I'd like to name it Contacts. Click OK and then Open. This will bring me to my data sheet view where I can actually interact with my table just like a spreadsheet. The field names appear in each column and I can type some data in here if I want. But of course, it is much better to create a data page so that data is submitted through a form that concludes this segment on Caspio Table, so please continue on part two to see how to create an actual web form. For additional videos and training materials, please visit howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.